Hi, I'm Joe. I'm with Defonza Design. We're a custom fabrication shop in northern New Jersey. Today, we're going to show you how to make a custom display using our ShopSaver CNC. Here at our company, we like to work with our clients to customize their branding. This year, Hell's Kitchen Hot Sauce came to us to make some custom displays for their holiday market. We're going to use some various materials as well as different techniques on the CNC to make their vision come to life. But it all starts on the computer. So follow me there and we'll get started. We use AutoCAD to do 90% of our drawing. Uh, here you can see we have the parts laid out. When we do CNC parts, especially for something like this, we can add these little tabs and receiving notches to make sure parts fit together perfectly. One thing I really like about AutoCAD is we have different customers send us work and we can easily export DWG files right into vCarve. Here in vCarve, we generate the toolpath for the CNC router and this will export the G code that the ShopSaver CNC needs to read the project. Now that we have the pieces into vCarve and we have the G code generated, let's load up some material and go make some cuts. Before we run our program, I wanted to mention something. You might notice our edge of our spoil board is silicone. This helps keep humidity out and keeps it down to the table tight. We also use a second spoil board here, a quarter inch MDF material. That way we can cut all the way through our finished material and get a nice clean edge on the bottom. It allows for fast turnaround for our customers. Now that the heights are set, the material is set, let's cut. So here we have pieces that just came off the CNC. The half inch plywood snaps together perfectly. This display unit is gonna be for the merchandise. This display unit is for the hot sauce bottles that the customer requested. You can see here, we cut holes to display the bottles. And we also cut a top plate here to represent the hardwood we're gonna cut later on. One of the best things about this machine is we can cut mock-ups for customers so they can see what the product's gonna be like in the end. This piece of half inch plywood later will be a piece of mahogany hardwood. It'll dress up the piece really nice. We're gonna bring this over to our laser engraver. We're gonna give this a nice finish. Before we do that, we need to cut some foam for the products that are gonna fit in here. So let's do that next.
we talked about capping our bottle display unit with a piece of mahogany. That's this piece right here. In this shop, we use this trackboard to hold down smaller pieces. There's a million ways to hold down small pieces on these big CNC machines, but this is how our shop does it. We made this trackboard template so that it appears in our software. Anytime we have small pieces, we pull that up first and we can lay pieces out exactly where we want them. We can also do large format like you saw earlier with the plywood, but we can also do small pieces like this piece of mahogany to do detail. We have to reset our Z0 and then we'll get this material cut. While our machine finished cutting, we brought some of our pieces over to our laser engraver. We added our customer's logo to this custom tumbler display that we made for them. We have our own process for doing laser engraving in-house, but you can always find an attachment for the ShopSaver CNC. They make a great option for you. You should check that out online. We have our tumblers here. These are what's gonna go into the display for our customer. But now that we have all of our parts, it's time for assembly. Let's get this put together, cleaned up, and put a finish on it. And let's get this wrapped up for our customer. Thank you. So here's our finished product. We have our three materials, our half inch Baltic birch plywood with our custom laser engraved logo. We have the foam insert for the custom tumblers and we have the mahogany hardwood that caps the bottle display. All these materials were cut on our CNC machine. Since we got our machine, we're really able to diversify what we can do in this shop. We can do large repetitive batch work or we can also do fast turnaround custom displays like this here. This unit's gonna appear in a holiday market for our customer. We're really happy with the way it turned out and we're excited to turn it over. We hope you learned something today and thanks for watching.